What is up you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Tanya Marie or welcome back if you're already a subscriber. We are going to do a pretty large product empties today and I have quite a few hates but a lot of this you see in almost every product empty video that I do because I keep getting them and I'm obsessed with them. We do have a little friend today. She's missing her sister because <laughs> my parents are watching her so you see her. She's chill. I'm sure you can see some of it behind me. We're gonna get to it. First two are some hates. Now, as you can see, I love a lot from this company. However, these are two that I just, I tried to like, I tried to get around it, tried to figure out if it was just how I was washing it, handling it. It's not, it's just the fabric, I hate it. I don't know what these names are, but I think they're like, you can find them on the website, they're within the fabric. But, or it doesn't even say in the tag, it doesn't. But these are the Elf Elite biker shorts. And as you can see, I'm sure you can see why I don't like them. They hold on to every bit of hair, no matter what you do inside or out. I think these might be the Amplify biker shorts. They feel nice, but the fabric is just, everything clings to it. You wash it, it comes out like this. You dry it, it comes out like this. You lint roll, it's like this in five minutes. I hate it. I love their leggings. I have so many that I, I love. I hate their um, V crossover leggings because it just falls down no matter what size you are. And this, I can't deal with hair all over it and just how they handled their February launch. I haven't bought from them since. So, next is another Elf Elite legging. I think these are the Amplify leggings if I remember right, but as you can see, it hangs on tight. No matter if you wash them or not, these are clean. It just holds on to everything. Love them, they look great on, but that is a big no for me. It's not for you. It's not for you. So this is one of the rice brands I used to get. I love this rice, but I gotta go brown rice because I gotta change up the diet and try to eat a lot healthier for me since white rice is a big inflammation factor in my diet that I still keep around even though I shouldn't but I like rice but like this gonna try the brown as you guys know I go off and I buy this all the time this is what I clean with this is what always does it for me I don't like the blue one it sucks get the green which is the cleanup cleaner and bleach original Clorox cleaning spray this is what I always get and this one is always works this is probably like my fourth or fifth one so living here I had plenty more before that. This is my go-to body lotion. This is the Nivea Essential, essentially enriched with almond oil for deep nourishment. I do have a different one, same brand. It's just the one geared to drier skin, so it's the white packaging with shea butter, I think it is, but this is empty. I love this, it works really well. Stays on my skin forever. My Like if I put this on after, my sh after I shower, my skin is still nice and moisturized for like three, four days. We all know I like my Bath and Body Works, just in general, candles, soap, whatever. This is the Mango Cove. This smelled amazing. We are using the last one right now, which is Champagne Toast, and that's a good one too. This is my go-to toothpaste. It's what's worked for me, and it's what's brought down a lot of yellow in my teeth without having whiteners in or going to the dentist and having my teeth professionally whitened. This is the Colgate Optic White Renewal. Normally, I'll do like the stain fighter, but this one removes 10 years of yellow stains, and I've gone through many of these, like it's completely flat. Next is the Old Spice Fiji deodorant with aluminum free. It literally smells like a beach. Yes, is it Old Spice generally a men's deodorant? Sure, but they have a lot of girly scents. Like I have one now that I just got because they didn't have this one anymore, aluminum free, because girls, aluminum's bad for us, bad for these. I have a vanilla and lavender one and it smells divine, so this is out. There's only like a little bit left, but that's like where the patches are that grab your skin. I got my fiance hooked on this. He uses this now too. It can be for whoever. Don't mind her. She's playing. Next, this went bad. Otherwise, I'd still be using it. This is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Comfort Lotion. This smelled so good, but it, I have like this much of it left, but it just expired and I ain't gonna use that because it started to make me itch. It smells really good though, but the um, stress reliever one is my favorite. Next, I got this in a Harry Potter kit at Ulta. It's the Harry Potter Ulta body, it's just a body butter that they had in a kit. I don't know what else to say, it was like two bucks. I neither hated it nor loved it, but it gone. 
I don't really know what to describe the smell. I really don't. I got these for our trip to Florida. Conditioner? Decent. Wasn't anything worth getting again, but I've been trying to use the shampoo up for like a while now. It's making me lose a lot of hair. Remember one of my project empties, the Juco, Joico, however you say that brand, where it's making my hair fall out? I'm sorry, I hear you're great, but no other shampoo brand makes my hair do that. And this is for wavy hair. And I had a color treatment in here, I had a hydrating treatment in here, and I had volume, I think. The oils you can get in to customize. And I added in both of these because we were going to Florida. I still have like itty bitty amount left in here. I'm not getting this again because I am losing so much hair. Granted, I have a lot of hair anyway. Like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hair because I have thick, fine hair. But I am losing like clumps in the shower every time I shower. And I shower once or twice a week because I only wash my hair, if that, twice a week. And I'm just losing too much. I can't take it. I do not. I want to keep the hair that's on my head, not lose it. Speaking of good hair mask, this, I think you've seen them before in an empties. This is the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Nutrient Wrench Butter Mask. This is good. This is like eight bucks at Target or Ulta. I like this. I would purchase it again. I finally got to try the Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask from Brio Gio. I like it. It needs to come in a bigger container. I have a lot of hair. Most people have a lot of hair or longer hair, shorter hair thicker hair, whatever. They need to make these bigger because this was like a treatment and a half, maybe two for me. Because like I said, I have a lot of hair and I coat my hair. This is one of my holy grail products. I swear by this, I need to get another one. This is the IGK Mistress Hydrating Balm. I would put this in at my roots, or not my roots, sorry, my ends. I'd put it from here down and just really coat the ends and like scrunch it to make sure my ends stay nice and hydrated because right now they're a little dry not having they're a little dry but not too bad because i haven't been able to do a mask or this because i'm out of everything and every mask i want to get is out of stock next we got the wander beauty baggage claim gold eye mask these are so good they stay wherever you put them i put them under my eye kind of up on my nose a little bit like i'll put them like from here all the way over and it'll stay there until it's ready to come off and it's dry and everything's soaked in. I love these masks because I have such dry under eyes. I'm, you've heard it a million times if you watch my videos. I am nice and plump and moisturized just with one use. And this comes with six pairs in individual packets, but oh my god. I swear by this, I've bought this two or three times now. Next we have the Ola Hendrickson Glow 2O Dark Spot Toner, the thing I swear by. Hiram, I blame you. Skincare by Hiram on YouTube. He taught me what's good and what not to use and what's better for your skin type. I learned more about my skin watching his channel. Ever since I started doing the new way for doing my skin, and it's cleared up a lot of my skin and helped my texture and the dark spots that I still have on my face that I used to swear by using this for, this now makes me break out instantly because of the fragrance in here. I've learned not to use fragrance for my skincare, so sadly I have this much left. I can't use it because it's making me break out, so... This is no longer a holy grail for me, I'm sorry. I have finally used up. You can't even see the label because it's rubbed off so much. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in shade 1 Fair Pale. Finally used this up. This is my... F I think this is my first one. I don't even think I've repurchased this yet. This is such a good illuminator, skin tint, all over glow primer. Whatever you want to call this thing, I swear by this. I love it. It comes in a nice glass packaging like... The doe foot's really nice, but I am like bone dry. Like the doe foot can't even get anything on it anymore. So swear by it. I love it. But like I said, I have the um, Glow by Auric Glow Lust and Morganite. I love that. It's so good. But like they're the kind of the same thing, kind of not. Auric's more creamy, more thick. This is more, not serum-y because it stays, but there's a slight difference. But I love them both. I will repurchase this just like I'll repurchase the Glow Lust because it's just so good. Next we have the Revolution Beauty Eyeliner. I don't even know what eyeliner this is. I've purchased this two or three times. I really like it. Nice fine felt tip. Very black carbon black. Kind of goes on shiny. Eventually dries matte but I like it. Will I repurchase? I don't know. I kind of like the ColourPop BFF liner, but it is a little dry when I try to do uh, draw out a wing and it dries so fast, though. I'm still trying to find a liner I like, but this one was pretty good. Next, I have the Huda Beauty Boss Brow. Is that what this is? Bomb Brows. And this was in shade new 2 Neutral Blonde. And I really, really like this. This was so good. I need to get a slightly darker shade. 
because blonde was a little too light for me. Normally I'm like right there, like blonde to light brown. I'm in that spectrum. This is really good. I could not get over how fine the pencil was. Like you're not even gonna be able to see it because it's like all the way down, but it's like the finest tip. Really good, really, really good. Kind of, you know what the NYX micro brow pencil looks like? It's smaller than that and that's small, so. Really good. Next, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Taupe. This is like my perfect color. I have a Makeup Revolution brow gel right now in brown, and that's a little dark. That's why my brows are kind of showing darker than they normally are, because this is my normal color. This finally got used up. My only complaint with this, as always, is the bristle on this is so big. It should be half that size, in my opinion, because I got whittled brows, and look at this. It's like... No, too, too little. Next, I have my all-time favorite concealer. I swear by this concealer. So creamy, so full coverage. I love it. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. There you go. And this is in shade C1. I swear by this. I always buy it. It's $7. Go straight to your drugstore. Go straight to Ulta. Go straight to Target. Buy them. So good. Next, I have the Essence Volume Stylus 18 Hour Curl and Hold Mascara. This is like two, three bucks. So good. Like the brush is so nice. Kind of has like a little scoop with a curl, but so, so good. So worth it. I have the Lash Princess, the purple one that's curling and volumizing. It's what I'm wearing right now. Really cool. Underneath my lashes, let's be honest here, but have that one. And I have the other one. I think it's the Lash A Day, the pink one with the darker tip of darker pink top. I don't really like that one because it makes my eyes, my lashes drop and I don't, my lashes normally stay up, so. But the Lash Princess I like, I need to get the Lash Princess, the green or blue one because that's apparently the best one, so. But I like Essence for mascara, it's really good. Next, I just ran out of this, I just repurchased it because this is a holy grail powder. I am dry, every powder I use, it looks so dry on me. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I swear by this, like I am out, there's like, Whatever you see here is just caked on the outside. Like, there's nothing left in here. Nothing. Like, if I bang it, very little's coming out. Because I, I literally was doing this for 20 minutes just trying to set my face. Holy grail. Does not make me look dry. Does not make me look cakey. As you can see, I look really nice and smooth. And I got big ass pores. Like, my nose. This whole section is pores. Now, I'll come closer so you can see. I don't look pory at all. I have some texture. But that's it. Next, we have the Pixie Beauty. This is the Glow Mist. I like this, but it dries my skin out a little bit. And if I get this anywhere near my eyes, it burns. And I think this may have alcohol in it, but I have no idea. It's nice, but I'm not gonna get it anymore. I used to get it all the time, but since I haven't been using it and I've only been using my two that I'm about to talk about, I don't miss this. My routine doesn't miss this. My skin doesn't miss this. My holy grail. I'm on my last one. That could be a problem. I need to go buy more. Remember when I said I had like four in my drawer? But yeah, this is the Smashbox Primer Water. Using this for years, swear by this, makes my skin look skin-like when I have powder, mascara, everything, foundation, concealer, highlight, liquid stuff, powder. Everything makes my face look skin-like where I'm not super cakey or powdery. Everything looks smooth. I will forever purchase this. If they ever discontinue it, I'm buying everything, so if you can't find it, blame me. I just ran out of this today and I'm sad because I love this. I need to order another one. This is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Spray, Primering Spray, however, it's what for use with for whatever. I use it primering, I use it during, and I use it after. It's such a fine mist, like I'm not gonna get anything out. Like it's so empty it's good, just gonna spray, but it's like a mist. It's really nice. Swear by it. All that's left is stuff I can't get out because it's like right at the bottom, but so good. It's only 12 bucks. So good, so refreshing. I wanna get another one. That's honestly probably my second or third one. I got these for the girls, just to see if it would help, cause Gypsy has sensitive joints as an Aussie. It's a normal thing, according to the vet. She would scream if she got felt like she got stuck when she was little, cause she stepped in between the couch cushions and she screamed thinking she was stuck. Cause so it probably pulled her a little bit, but she was fine. And then core is getting old, so I'm like, I wanna help joints anywhere. This is the Dog's Well Treats. And this is like the Jerky Minis and the Chicken, grain-free. Girls liked it. Don't know if I'll get it again. I'm trying to give them a balance, and I don't think they're missing this in their treats, so. They love these. These are the Charlie Bear Grain-Free Crunch Natural Treats for Dogs in the chicken, pumpkin, and apple flavor. They're obsessed with these. They always want them. They're really tiny, and they're only like a handful of ingredients. Peas, chickpeas, chicken, potato, pea starch, 
dehydrated liver, dried egg product, dried pumpkin, dried apples, coconut oil, tapioca, natural flavor, cinnamon, and mixed tocopherols, the freshness, whatever it is. Yeah, you can see for yourself, like, the ingredients are minimal. I love giving the girls these. They're so good. I have another one over there, if you can't tell. That's not in their little treat bin I have over there. So I bought this so many times, it's like $6. Do I even need to say again? That I love Honest Kitchen. This is the goat's milk and cookies. Girls love it. It has the probiotic in it. It's good for them. It's human grade ingredients. I'm not going to go on a tangent because I've already done it a million times with this brand. But that's two empty ones. And I just emptied a third and fourth into their treat bin back there. Then we have the new one they love. This is the goat's milk and cookies with pumpkin. It's empty. And I have another one in the bin. You like this, don't you? That's why you're trying to hog that one that's empty. More. But... They like these more. I got these. They weren't that crazy. This is the bone broth bite. Savory protein cookies roasted with be beef bone broth, sweet potatoes, and parsley. These were okay. They love these. These are the bone broth bites with turkey bone broth, pumpkin, and parsley. This they love more than this. But they ate, both ate them. As you can see, they're empty. They love these. Both are from Anna's Kitchen. If you have a pet, they have cat stuff too. Cat and dog. So go check it out. It's so good. They're on Chewy. They're at Petco. I'm sure they're at PetSmart, but I don't support PetSmart, but I'm not even getting into that. I have the Milk Bone Macro Snacks for dogs of all sizes with real bone marrow with calcium. Cora has been on this for years. It's like a kind of like a normal treat with mixed with a dental treat because it would help clean her teeth. This is the only thing I really give her that is made, has fillers in it. Otherwise, all her other treats and food is not fillers. It's like good stuff for them. She eats Purina. I'll give her that. But she's been on it for years. The vet's not worried about it. She's good. But she also has a mix of Canada dog food and, and Honest Kitchen. So she's kind of got a workaround. But she's been on this for years. It's $8. $8 to $11 depending on where you get it. And it's huge and it lasts forever. This is the Starbucks non-dairy creamer almond milk and oat milk and caramel. Inspired by the caramel macchiato drink. Because this is my favorite dairy creamer before I learned I couldn't have dairy. And now I've had this one. Natalia found me the pumpkin spice one, which I'm currently using because that's the only creamer I have left. This is so good, and I've repurchased this a million times already. My tried and true, my coffee mate almond milk vanilla creamer. I will forever purchase this. This is the quart size. This is gluten-free, dairy-free. I use this all the time. I, I don't even know how many of these I've had so far. I don't even need to say anything. Do I need to talk about this? Because I think I've had this in every empties. This is the Chameleon Coffee Cold Brew in vanilla. They now have ground coffee that's churro flavored. I'm going to find it. I will. It's on my checklist. I need to find it. I need to go get more of this. I don't have any more. Bone dry. So good. If you like cold brew, if you like Dunkin' Donuts cold brew, if you like Starbucks cold brew, caribou's cold brew is disgusting. Don't drink that trash. Don't even drink caribou. Caribou is disgusting. Yes, I'm a coffee snob. Caribou is disgusting. Try this. If you don't like this, we may, we may fight. We may fight. And last but certainly not least, my Alani new. That's out of stock everywhere. And I get my fix when I go to Natalia's because her, her Target has them all. So she always loads up on them. So I get to steal some when I go over there. Because when I go to my Target, they're not there. This is the Alani New Cosmic Stardust Energy Drink. So good. I can't even tell you what kind of flavor this is. I wouldn't say it's grape, but it's like a berry flavor. And then you got the Hawaiian Shaved Ice. Literally tastes like Hawaiian Shaved Ice. These are some of my favorites. Breezeberry, the blue one, is my favorite. Watermelon Wave that Natalia got me hooked on is my favorite. Mimosa is okay. It's good, but I love these. Well, you guys, you stayed for a pretty long product empties. Nowhere near as long as my year of product empties, which was the first ever video I posted eight months ago. It's hard to believe I've been doing videos for eight months now. If you like seeing my trash videos, if you like seeing what I like and don't like in my product empties, make sure to subscribe down below, hit the like button, leave me a comment on what you thought was pretty cool or what you're like, why do you even use that? I don't like that. Be nice. I take constructive criticism, but if you're just going to be a jerk, your comment's going to be deleted. Let's put it that way. I don't tolerate it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure my camera got hot right when I was trying to say bye. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to see my previous videos. If you haven't already, I post vlogs. I do reviews. I do makeup videos. I do product empties. I do hauls. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> you want to say bye? You're just so cute.